morning, everybody. It's Mischievous Mel, live from Rockwell Unseen Music Magazine and Tattoo.com at So What Festival in Texas. And I'm here with the rockin' hot missus, Whitney Payton. Oh, my God. You are so adorable. <laughs> we were just talking a second ago that she's so tiny, but you, your sound is not tiny. I'm not actually tiny. I'm on my knees right now to make her look like she's taller than me because that was part of the deal with this. Makes you look mean and <laughs> scary, right? I'm just kidding. But, yeah, no, I like being small. <laughs> I used to hate it. I used to be like, oh, my God, everyone's so towering over me. But then it's like element of surprise. I was going to say, you're, you know, you're, you're in a you're not only in the music business, but you're in yeah. one that's kind of more geared towards men. So, you know, but yeah. you're out there kicking ass and taking names. You want to tell it what it's like to be singing like rap, rock or singing and yeah. doing what you do? Because you're kind of a you're kind mm -hmm. of a like a. I'm, I'm not going to say pioneer, but yeah, I'm kind of a fusion of a lot of different things. So that's what makes it hard, too, because when people are like, what kind of music do you do? It's like, uh, it's just watch it. You know what I mean? Um, but what I found is ultimately at the end of the day, people like to be entertained. So it doesn't really matter uh, what kind of music you're doing as long as it touches them and as long as um, they're you're hype and entertaining. And, uh, and that's what we bring. I think you got that. You were pretty shy when I first met you, and, you know, I was shy right back. Can, can you tell? I mean, we, we kind of stood there awkward. Right, yeah, yeah. It, it was weird. No one talked. I mean. Wall flowery, right? Right, yeah. exactly. Speaking of flowery, that reminds me of art, and you have some beautiful ink. In. Thank you. Yes, I actually, um, like most artists, it's still a work in progress because as I tour, it's very hard to continue to get tattooed. Um, you know, as I'm touring, but about a year ago, I did not have any tattoos on my arm. Okay. I just went in right away for the sleeve. Um, I would say that I would sit for like six hours at a time. Okay. And seven hours. Can I just say, balls out right there, because when you <laughs> go in for your first one, most people are like, just give me a little dot. You're like, I'm no, like, give me a sleeve. sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so gorgeous. this is, um, I'm from Philadelphia, and this is Gia Rose from Ink Master. Actually, uh, she's she wasn't on Ink Master when she first started my tattoo, but uh, she's from Ink Master season eight. So between me touring and her being on the show, it was kind of hard uh, for us to, to you know, make our schedules match up. But I have a couple more sessions left. But all, this is my fairy tale sleeve. So what you're seeing here is uh, Harry Potter. I have Dobby from Harry Potter. I have the sorting hat. I have the letter from Hogwarts. I have the Lorax trees, truffle trees here. I have James and the giant peach and the seagull carrying the peach. And up here is going to be emerald city um originally it kind of looked too much like the disney castle it was always green i was trying to get emerald city but it looked like the disney castle and everyone was like oh the disney castle and i'm like no it's supposed to be emerald city so you can see where she's going over it and crystallizing it and you can see how underneath it was more you know the castle looking and now it's crystals and everything and i have the oz hot air balloon from wizard of oz and everything and yeah everything's coming out of this storybook at the bottom and we have uh Alice in Wonderland, we have the playing card. He's painting the roses red, and he's painting the uh, truffle trees as well. So it's kind of integrating all the, uh, my favorite story books from being a child. Much, <laughs> much like your music, it, it, it is one tattoo, but it incorporates a bunch of, it's an infusion. Right, exactly, like you. exactly. Yeah. No one's ever made that metaphor, but I mean, it's cool because I look really tough with these tattoos, and then you get close, and you're like, "Are those the Lorax trees?" So it kind of okay. I don't, I don't want to blow up for your toughness and what I was going for, but okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, don't. I look tough, you know. <laughs> my height looks so hardcore, but then they're like, "Look at those truffle trees." So. I just, I, I, I'm sorry, I got to pick on you, and I'm just so oh, used to like okay. having like guy bands at me, and they just like totally, you know, like I'm the odd girl out. So no, I'm right. picking on you. I'm being the bully. So no, it's okay. Know. Speaking of music and out, tell us where we can find you and what, you, what you're up to right now currently. Because people need mm -hmm. to see you live, and you've got some stuff coming out, and you've been on the road, and you're going on the road. You're just, you're, yeah. you're getting out there. I mean, last year I did over 250 shows. So uh, this year I'm just <laughs> recording more. I just dropped an album called Firecracker, and the producer is Matt Good from a band from first to last. Uh, so it's really cool because he obviously has a big rock background. So me uh, rapping with him, it, that that was the fusion right there. And then I'm releasing a rock EP that's like different rock versions of my most popular songs like throughout the years and stuff for free download. So 
so. That is fantastic. Yeah. And and I got to give a shout out. You you did sing with one of my favorite newer people that I met, Mr. Jelly Roll. How was oh, it hanging yeah. with Jelly Roll? Yeah, you know Jelly Roll, that's awesome. Uh, our the, his interview, a uh, cheers Jelly Roll for whatever you gave a sip of me to because it made me really happy in the tent off of two sips. That's what happens. <laughs> it was probably moonshine or something like that, but yeah. It was something very powerful. <laughs> yeah, I mean Jelly Roll's cool. I I just recently toured with him last year as well. So, and he was on one of my albums from 2016. So, shout out to him for sure. Yeah, you guys, I mean the voices, you guys both that I was just like when I saw that I'm like, "Oh, that's so Awesome. Yeah, yeah, so it's really cool. Thing. He's like a fusion of country and rap, and I'm more uh, like kind of like punk and rap. So it, it's just funny. So it was cool. Well, that that is a that's a weird one night stand, punk and rap. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to. But you know, people said the first thing when they did country and rap, and that was like you know that that's took over and blew the up. Opposite. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, so again, a pioneer. You're doing punk and rap. Yes. So you heard it here. You check out this fire, little firecracker on the road. And I want you to do me a huge favor, and this sure. is for you. I want you to pimp yourself out. Where can we oh find man. you? Any social media, any, anything right. where people can find you. This is so much pressure. I know, right? No, just uh, you can Google me. That's the easiest way. Everyone does everything. But it's WhitneyPayton.com, Facebook.com slash WhitneyPaytonMusic, Twitter at WhitneyPayton, Snapchat at WhitneyPayton. And it's spelled P-E-Y-T-O-N. So stop spelling my name with an A. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Boom. It's your girl, Whitney Payton, and you're watching Tattoo.com.